In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today I wanted to, to, to wear a red suit, but I am wearing my characteristic black suit because I, <laughs> I don't dress like some people who are looking at me here. That Father, you can be in red to be in the season. No, I'm in season even in black. Allah. <laughs> Happy Valentine's. I'm sure you are well. Today I know so many people are waiting for some flowers, for some lunch, for some dinner, for some wine, for some gifts, for everything. Whatever it is, allow me to wish you happy Valentine's. And today I want to give a, a very short reflection on this day. And I want to talk about the expectation. The expectation. What are you expecting? On Friday, uh, 10th, I attended the pre-Valentine's dinner in Kajiado. That is in um, uh, Gong Diocese. And we had lots of fun with the couples and the priests and the religious there. And it was just a glorious night. And I have been able to give a few other talks uh, before today. So I need to ask you this simple question. What is your expectation today? You, what is your expectation? Are you waking up, holding your phone, and you want to know, uh, will someone call me today? Will I get that message? Will I get a gift? Will this or this happen? Uh, will he come? Will she come? Will this happen? What are you expecting? Now, my dear friend, allow me to give you this small piece of advice because I have been in this world for some years. If you want to be happy, not on Valentine's Day, but any day, be it your birthday, your anniversary, the best way to make sure that you are at peace and happy is to lessen your expectations. Check. What are your expectations? The people you love has the highest capacity of letting you down and breaking your heart into pieces. The best valentine is where you are your own valentine. We always say, no, be my valentine, which is okay. I have no problem with that. But the best valentine is where you are your own valentine. What does that mean? I know those of you who have partners, your partners may take you out. But don't forget, there are still some of you who have partners, and the partners have no clue that it is valentines, and you are getting angry because your husband forgot, or you are getting angry because you and your wife broke up or because you and your girlfriend broke up and now she is not in for it for it for a treat maybe you wanted to take her out to go and reconcile na mekata she doesn't want and therefore you are getting yourself frustrated you know uh, i know we have not been in talking terms i wanted us to meet today we do some lunch now she has refused don't mind i have talked about lessening your expectations somebody may let you down be your own valentine. If you have to take someone out, then please give them your best of the time. On Valentine's Day, the best gift you give is the gift of yourself. Remember, those people who are in love, married, dating, or engaged, every day, is a Valentine's Day. There is no day set aside for love. I have attended marriage encounters, so many of them in this republic and outside. And they will tell you, in any gathering of married encounter you go, in every gathering of couples for Christ that you go, they will tell you, every day it is Valentine's Day. Those of you who will decide to give a gift make sure that your gift 
is acceptable. It is pleasant in that your gift honors the person that you want to deliver the gift to. Let your gift reflect the goodness that is in your heart and the godliness that you have always exhibited. Please, do not give a gift to intimidate. Do not give a gift to malign. Do not give a gift to dehumanize. Do not give a gift to enslave. Do not give a gift to confuse. Give a gift that reflects the goodness in you and the dignity that you have always protected and exhibited as a man or as a woman. To our gracious ladies, I know you have always said, this is our day, we need to be treated. I have no problem with that. Just in case you have nobody to treat you, remember, you should be your best friend. When you are your best friend, please make sure that today you take yourself out. Go treat yourself. Buy yourself some flowers if you can. Buy yourself a love card. Buy yourself some chocolates. Create a table for yourself. Eat your best meal. Pay for it. Please pay after you have paid. Pick your flowers. Go home. Once you have gotten home, put your flowers on the table. Hug yourself. Shower and sleep and wait for Jesus. Happy Valentine's. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. <laughs> My producer is giving me a gift. I don't know how you, put, you say of this gift, but thank you, my producer. Happy Valentine's. Well, the gift looks weird, but... <laughs> thank you, good people. I have a gift already. Thank you. <laughs>